Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to give you a little uh, two-in-one video today. This is uh, both going to be a virtual production uh, demo and a bit of a product review. Um, what I've got going on here is behind me you can see uh, it looks like I'm in a nice big room with some bookshelves and knickknacks and uh, nice lighting. Uh, all that stuff behind me is actually a virtual set. It isn't really there. Uh, I'm actually sitting about two feet from a green screen wall and this room is probably uh, at least half the size of what it appears to be on the screen right now. So uh, I think you can see it's a pretty good effect, uh, fairly clean, and uh, the ray trace lighting that I'm using actually makes it uh, look very convincing lighting wise. Uh, now uh, the other thing I said I'd do is I'm going to give you a bit of a product review and what I'm going to tell you about is this tripod right here. This is the KNF Concepts tripod, uh, which I got to hold up um, my camera robot. I actually got two of them because uh, the camera robot is on a 42-inch um, long slider, so to be sturdy it needs two things to hold it up. Um, this tripod comes with a nice ba nylon bag. It's very sturdy and makes it easy to carry the thing around. It includes uh, an Allen key to tighten the joints up if you need to do that. And it includes a shorter version of this center post uh, in case you want to be able to lower this tripod down till it's sitting almost flat on the table. And there's a velvet bag to cover up the ball head here and protect it from being scratched up. So a tripod's a tripod, right? Well, this one is quite solid. It's made of aluminum alloy. You can see I can press on it pretty hard. It doesn't move. The legs have uh, several different angle adjustments and they telescope out using twist locks. Uh, there's also versions that, um, that use snap locks uh, instead lever locks. Uh, this particular version goes up to 63 inches tall when it's completely extended and they even have another version uh, that goes all the way up to uh, 96 inches. Um, now, as I said, this has a nice ball head on top. You can see it pans back and forth very smoothly. There's a bit of a drag on the pan mechanism. Uh, of course, this isn't really made for video, so because uh, ball heads, you know, they, this is a pretty smooth ball head, but it's not as smooth as a fluid head tripod that you would use to shoot video with. Uh, but this does have a few useful tricks that you may not have seen. Uh, now, it, like with most tripods that have the center post, you can pull this out and reverse it to get the camera closer to the ground. Uh, but this one has yet another trick. If I loosen this piece right here, it has a second post inside the first one. And you can see that comes completely out if you want it to. But it also does this. You can see there's a little ball here, and I can turn everything sideways. Let me slide this a little bit further. And now if I wanted to take a product shot, say of something on the table, I could just twist this ball head around so that it's pointing straight down. And your camera would be in just the right place. And uh, like I said, if you wanted to get even closer to the table, you can reverse this thing and, and get it even closer down uh, to the point where it's practically touching the table if you had a macro lens or something like that that you wanted to use. The other thing that you can do with this is some people have uh, had trouble measuring the nodal points on their lenses. The, uh, it's called a nodal point, a no parallax point, or a uh, entrance pupil. And for longer lenses, you can use a ball head like this to help you do that. And I'll show you how that would work. You would just take the camera and spin it around like this and lock everything down. And now when you turn this centerpiece, I have to loosen it a bit. Now when you turn this centerpiece, you can see the lens pivots about an arbitrary point instead of back here at the tripod socket, it pivots right around the center of this post. Now when you're trying to find the uh, entrance pupil, which on this lens is right about here, you need to 
try rotating the camera around where you think the entrance pupil is and take some pictures to see if there's any change in parallax between near and far objects. And of course, if there are, there is, you would just slide this back and forth. Um, now, the reason I said this is mostly good for longer lenses is because this is about as far that way as it'll go. Um, if you have a shorter lens, the easiest way to do it is to get a quick release plate that is uh, extra long and then you'll be able to slide it back and forth in the quick release plate mount. Uh, there's also a thing called a nodal slide which you can get for about 20 or 30 dollars that's uh, usually about a 20 or 30 millimeter long adjustable slide uh, which you can use with other kinds of tripods that don't have this feature. But uh, anyway I think you can see it's a pretty nice tripod it costs about a hundred and fifty dollars uh, it's frequently on sale for as much as 20 to 25 percent off on Amazon uh, and uh, it, you, you get free shipping um, and if you're uh, also, uh, you can go to the KNF Concepts website, and sometimes they have it on sale for even less. Although in their case, uh, I think the shipping isn't quite as fast as Amazon. So uh, you know, one way or another, you can get it for a pretty good price, somewhere between probably 110 and 150 dollars. Uh, it's real solid. It packs up into a space about uh, 19 inches long, uh, and so it's very easy to carry around. Uh, and you can see it's very sturdy. I can shake it around and nothing wobbles once everything's been locked in place. And uh, really that's all about all there is to it. I hope you uh, enjoy the product review and the virtual set behind me. Uh, we'll have some more information on this later on and if you have any questions as usual just put them in the comments to the, uh, to the video and I'll answer them as best as I can for you.